वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम टीचर डॉक्टर साड़ू की टी वी फ्रॉम श्री शिवाजी विद्या मंदिर एंड जूनियर कॉलेज औंद पुणे आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी स्टार्टेड द पोएम फादर रिटर्निंग होम रिटर्न बाय दिलीप चित्रे इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी कंप्लीटेड the first stanza of the poem father returning home today in this session we are going to continue the second stanza of the poem father returning home i hope you must be having the textbook with you let us look at page number 116 i read the first two lines of the second stanza you concentrate on these two lines of the second stanza i read the lines before i read the lines let me make you one thing clear the second stanza of this poem totally focuses on the daily routine or activities the poet's father involves at his own home let us look at the lines i read the lines home again i see him drinking weak tea eating a stale chapati reading a book students the word again in the first line of the second stanza is significant one as it almost makes us think that the poet is going to share with us the same pitiable condition of his father at home as we saw in the first stanza if you see the lines home again i see him drinking weak tea eating a stale chapati in these lines the expressions weak tea and stale chapati reveal the complete carelessness or inattention on the part of family members students from these lines it can be said that do poet's father works hard for his family but he is deprived of good or fresh food moreover he doesn't complain about the treatment he receives from his family as he seems to have become habitual of these daily happenings in his home as a result the poet's father involves himself in the reading of book the only company the poet's father has the reading of a book these two lines here reveal the truth that the breadwinner's hard work is not appreciated the father is left with no care at all let us come to the next lines I read the lines he goes into the toilet to contemplate man's estrangement from a man made world students these two lines in true sense suggest the subject or central idea or theme of the poem father returning home if you look at the line he goes into the toilet to contemplate means that the father goes in the toilet to ponder over or to think deeply of his past and future life from his pathetic condition or the treatment he receives or the actions or behaviors of his family members it can be guessed that he might be thinking for whom and why he is working so hard because nobody seems there in the family to pay attention even to the basic requirements or needs such as tea and food the word toilet in this line also suggests the fact that the world the poet's father is living is limited small if we look at a line man's estrangement from a man made world here the word estrangement means 
alienation, isolation, or separation. These lines reflect father's complete alienation in his own family as we observe or experience this real life situation around us in the society. It can be said that the way Dilip Chitre describes pitiful condition of his father may be happening with other common old aged people in the society. Now let us proceed to the next lines. I read the lines. You look at the lines. Coming out, he trembles at the sink, the cold water running over his brown hands. A few droplets cling to the graying hair on his wrists. Now, the poet's father comes out of the toilet and goes to wash his hands at wash basin. The poet observes his father trembling when he goes to wash his brown hands with the cold water at sink. In this line, the expressions trembling and cold suggest his old age and lack of concern or lack of interest in the life. Again, a droplets are seen clinging to the grain hair on father's wrist. The expression grain hair symbolizes here father's grown up age or old age. In these three lines, the expressions like trembling, cold water, and grain hair are significant as they really present poet's father as an old man whose life has no significance in his own family. Students, now we are going to discuss the concluding lines of the poem. I read the lines. He will now go to sleep listening to the static on the radio, dreaming of his ancestors and grandchildren, thinking of nomads entering a subcontinent through a narrow pass. In these lines, the poet is talking about his father's time for rest as the father is going to sleep. While sleeping, the father is listening to static on the radio. Here, the expression static means noisy, which symbolizes miserable life of poet's father. In the next line, the word dreaming means poet's father is thinking of his ancestors from past and grandchildren in future. It is also possible that the poet's father wants to escape himself from the dull life at present which seems to be devoid of human contacts. In the concluding line of the poem, the poet tells us his father not only dreaming but also thinking of nomads entering a subcontinent through a narrow pass. Students, when we learnt the other poems in previous sessions, I told you each poem has definite message or moral the poet wants to convey. The poem Father Returning Home also has definite message. So here in this poem, the message is that we should not neglect elderly people in our family. They should be treated with respect. We must take care of old people in our house. Of course, we must keep up communication with elderly people to avoid the generation gap which is seen nowadays. Students, I hope you must have understood the second stanza of the poem, Father Returning Home. So, I conclude my lecture here. I stop here. Thank you.